New Mexico State's 120 year history, we've never had access to a specimen like this before. Now it's not uncommon to find small fragments of fossil elephant-like animals in the general area. Uh, usually they're very fragmentary pieces of bone or teeth. Um, and occasionally there have even been the more common mammoths and mastodon skulls that are found, but these are typically found on public lands and as such they have to be deposited at federal uh, repositories. So they end up generally in Albuquerque or other far off places. So what was very unusual in this case was we were contacted by an alumnus of NMSU named Eddie Bins who owns a quarry um, and he found that this skull had been uh, dug up on the quarry and he with a strong commitment to the Las Cruces area wanted to see it remain here and donated it uh, for that purpose. Now at that time we didn't realize that this was actually distinct from a mastodon and actually much rarer than a mastodon. So that makes the donation all the more significant. In the ground, this beautiful fossil skull was cradled by Mother Nature for 1.6 million years. And uh, over that period of time, all of the protein in the fossil, in the bone, leached away. And that's what gives it its tensile strength. It's like the steel in bone. And uh, as a result of that, once taken out of the ground, the fossil couldn't support its own weight. And uh, it collapsed into literally thousands of pieces. So for about the past year and a half, not quite that long, uh, we've been reassembling it. Uh, to finish the assembly, we need to enlist the expertise of a welder, because uh, even if you glue these parts together, they won't be able to support their own weight. So they need to be supported by the appropriate infrastructure. So if I had nothing else to do, I might be able to finish the reconstruction with the appropriate welding help within the next couple of months. But we have many other important duties. I teach nursing anatomy, for example, and we can't just forget about those needs. Um, but in addition to simply putting this together, and we're working on it very hard, but in addition to that, uh, there's the scientific description of the fossil that's very important. It's one of the only ones that has ever been found uh, mammoths and mastodons are far more common. This is similar to them, but not quite the same. And this may in fact only be the second skull of its type that's ever been found anywhere in the world. So it's gonna be of tremendous scientific importance. The scientific description really should only take a matter of uh, a few months. It might take us longer to get it published, but what we need to do before it goes on display is simply take the necessary measurements and photographs that you won't be able to take once it's hanging out of the reach of, of people. Hopefully, if everything goes well, we might have it ready for exhibit within the year, that it might actually be up that, that soon if everything goes well.